Hello my lovelies, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some yoga and stretching that's going to help us to relieve any stomach bloating and also help relieve any lower back pain, stretch out your hips and release tension in your neck and shoulders area as well. So this is just a great overall, just kind of a full body stretch, but this will definitely help release tension all over. So first things first, I want us to start sitting down in this crisscross applesauce position with your back straight and we're just going to start off by circling our neck. You can do full neck rotations or you can do half rotations like I'm doing here and just very slowly take your time rolling your neck and kind of starting to release a little bit of tension there. So after we've done a few of these rotations, we're going to take our neck, hold it down um, on one side and take your hand and apply a little bit of pressure down there so you're really going to be getting a full stretch on the side of the neck you can take your arms and kind of reach it out to really get maximum stretching there and slowly bring your head back to center and then continue that on the other side we are then going to start doing some shoulder rolls i like to take my shoulders and roll them backwards only and really get the cracks in there and releasing the tension up top but you can go either direction and just roll it for a little bit then we're going to go ahead and maneuver on all fours at a leisure pace and slowly bring ourselves into this downward dog position right here. This is going to be a great stretch for your lower back, for your hip flexors and your hamstrings. Really take your time here and make sure that you're getting a good stretch. You can go ahead and move your feet around, twist your feet around. You can spread your legs out a little bit further to get more stretch in your hips. I know I tend to have really tight hips, so doing this stretch really helps. So just move around a little bit. You can do a little bit of a wiggle. Just really make sure you're stretching what feels good. Then once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and move into a cobra position. So keep your feet together and then bring your body back down, really getting a stretch in your lower back. You kind of wanna ease up kind of like a wave and you're really gonna be stretching up there and you wanna take your head and your back twist it backwards and you're really going to be feeling that. And then we can go ahead and twist our shoulders side to side after we're in this position. Really get a good stretch. You should be very relaxed at this point. We're going to go ahead and transcend into this downwards hold right here where you're going to take your knees, spread them out to be about the width of your yoga mat, bring your feet together and then you're going to take your hips and kind of sit them down while taking your arms and stretching them forward. And you should be feeling this in your hip flexors, in your back, lower back, and in your shoulders. And this is going to be a very, very good stretch. And so here, I want us to just rest for a little bit and take a few deep breaths. This is going to be very, very relaxing. It's really good for getting rid of that bloating. So now we're gonna ease our way onto all fours and we can do a little bit of twist here. Kind of get yourself used to this motion and then slowly get into our cat and cow. We're going to take your lower back and arch it downwards while taking your shoulders and your face and arching them upwards, inhaling as you're doing this motion. Then exhale as you take your shoulders and your back and arch it upwards and take your head and neck and pull them downwards. And then just keep repeating that for a few rounds. Then we're going to transition into downwards dog and move into this lower body stretch where you're going to take one leg, bring it to where your hands are, lower yourself, and you're really gonna be feeling this stretch in your hip flexors. Then you're gonna go ahead and take your arm, lift it up, and you're gonna be getting a full stretch in your shoulders and lower back as well. And we're just gonna take a few deep breaths here and just relax. Now that we've done this, we can go ahead and retreat back into downwards dog and do the same thing with the other leg. 
taking that leg, we're just gonna stretch it out, really feel it in our hips, and then take our arms and reach it up and get this nice stretch in our back. Then yet again, we're going to move into downward dog and move into our cobra again, and then lower ourselves down into this baby cobra right here, making sure your wrist and, and hands are touching the floor. Then I want us to go ahead and twist over slowly and lay on our back. Um, then we're going to bring one knee and pull it up to our chest and just hold that there. You can do a few little ankle rolls. You can also grab your knee and do a few rolls on the top counterclockwise or regularly clockwise and just do a nice little stretch up there and just really feel that stretch in your lower back and hip flexors. And once we're done with this side, we're going to release that leg and bring up our other leg and do the same thing on that side. Now we're gonna go ahead and bring both legs up and hold them there. And you should definitely be feeling the stretch in your lower back and feeling very, very relaxed. Now we can move into happy baby. So we're gonna to continue to stay in this pose as we take our feet and bring them up to the sky while keeping our knees to our chest and just holding onto the back of our feet. You can rock back and forth a little bit if you would like, but it is not necessary. So once we have done a few of those, we can go ahead and bring our legs straight up. I like to just hold this there for a little bit and then I slowly will bring my legs down kind of like a leg drop, making sure my core is engaged the entire time and slowly drop my legs. Then we're going to do one of my favorite stretches, which is where we're going to stay laying flat in our back and take one leg, twist it over and then take our arms and twist over to the other side. This is a very common stretch and you should definitely be getting a few cracks in your lower back and a few in your upper back. Now we can slowly go back to center and then twist our other leg and continue the same exact stretch and you should also be feeling the cracks on this side. So now that we're done with that, we can go back to our center and we're slowly going to lift ourselves up, sitting on our behind. And then we're going to do that same pose, but this time you're going to take one leg, bring it up and then twist on that side as well. And you're just going to hold that for a little bit and then continue that on the other side. Then we're going to bring our legs together and in front of us and we're going to do a separate leg stretch. You probably used to do this a lot in elementary school for PE where you take one leg, 
bring the sole of your feet to your inner thigh and then stretch out your hamstrings on that one leg. And we're just going to hold that and just feel the stretch in that hamstring before we slowly move over to the other side. And you can reach over and stretch both of them at the same time, very slowly inhaling and really feeling the deep stretch in your hamstrings. Then move into this butterfly stretch where you bring the soles of your feet together and you bring them up and you're going to be definitely feeling this in your hip flexors and in your hips. And return back to center and just go ahead and do a few neck rolls very slowly and do a few shoulder rolls as well and just relieving a lot of that upper tension. Then we're going to do single arm pulls where you just take one arm and you're going to reach it out to the side, making sure to hold back your elbow or your forearm with your other hand and just do a nice twist. You should definitely be feeling this in your shoulders and triceps. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and go to the other side and do that stretch. Then we can go ahead and take our arms, stretch it over our head, yet again applying pressure by grabbing our elbows and pulling down slightly. And then we can move on to the other arm and also get that equal stretch. And then our last few stretches here, I'm going to bring my hands together and pull them out in front of me to get a nice shoulder and back stretch. Take a few deep breaths and then I'm going to interlock my hands again together behind my back to get another very good upper back stretch. Then we can do our few big hand loops over our head and bring them back down to center and just breathe very slowly and exhale. And that is it for today's session. Hopefully you feel a lot more relaxed and relieved of any tension at this point. And if you did, I would appreciate a like, comment, or subscribe. But thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a beautiful day.